violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Police say a man is dead after a woman shot. They both called. Shot him for trying to break into her, her home. Now, the house was said to have been full of people at the time with children there. And Natasha Geigel is live um, to tell us what happened there overnight. Good morning. Well, good morning, Lena and Chelsea. Yes, we know that the shooting occurred here at the Gateway at Ellington apartment complex. The scene is, is clear now, but the investigation is uh, going to continue. Now, we do know that there were people that were inside of the home, including children uh, at the time. Thankfully, we know that nobody that was inside of the home was harmed. Now, it was around 9 p.m. when Houston police responded to the shooting at an upstairs apartment at 15603 Gulf Freeway. When they arrived, they found a man with a gunshot wound when the Houston Fire Department arrived, they pronounced him dead. Mm. Now, the extent of the damage to the exterior of the door shows that the man tried to force his way into the home when Afenia, who lives inside, fired one shot at him. And that's a W, y'all. That's a W. Um, and I'm glad it was a woman who protected her home. You know, I guess they are strong and independent after all. She don't need no man. She taking out the burglar herself. And you could tell she's a good shot. Probably hit him. Center mass. Or did she say it was in the head? I don't I don't know. But either way, that's a W. Um, she protected her home. And that's all you can ask for. Okay. Uh, uh, a lot of women are getting taken advantage of by these super gremlins on demon time. So it's good to see them fighting back. He forced entry through the front door. Um, I do not have the information whether he kicked it or hit it with his body or how he opened it, but he did break the door frame and got the door completely open and entered the location before the female defended herself. Now, investigators say that the man and the woman did know each other, but they have not confirmed yet what the relationship between the two is. Uh-oh. Is it a disgruntled baby daddy? Is it a, you know, somebody who she let hit, who she shouldn't have let hit? Or maybe just a stalker, who knows? Now the identity of that deceased male and the female has not been released yet. We want you to stay with us here at Fox 26 as we'll continue to keep you updated on this story. Natasha Geigel reporting Fox 26 News. At approximately 1 a.m., officers from the Southwest Patrol Division were dispatched to this location, which is 911 Lakes at 610. Um, this complex, there was a pool party where a couple, I don't know what their exact relationship is to each other, if it's, if they're currently together or estranged, got into a verbal argument, argument with each other, which resulted in the male producing a firearm and shooting the female one time in the face. Dang. So we just had a story. Of a sister, I don't even know if it was a sister, but woman defending herself. And now you got a pool party where I told you guys dudes are bringing straps to the pool party. And he gets in an argument with his girl or whatnot and shoots her in the face. Now, I know that that was probably a sister because, you know, we know these these super gremlins have no problem pulling straps out on sisters and, and you know, Taking them out, unfortunately. That's just how it's going down nowadays in 2022. All right. Um, but this is just crazy, man. And the female was transferred to, transported to a local area hospital by the Houston Fire Department. And is currently in surgery but in stable condition. Um, the male was still on scene when officers arrived. They detained him. Took him into custody. They were able to recover the handgun and secure the crime scene. Mm. There's... Witnesses to the incident that have backed up uh, the complaint, the story of what exactly went down. And currently, family violence is uh, doing the follow-up investigation. Um, neither 
of the parties, the complainant or the suspect live at the location. They were just here attending on a pool party. See, that's that's how they mess it up for everybody. They came for the pool party. They weren't supposed to be there. It's not even that they weren't supposed to be there, but they didn't live there. Now the security at the pool going to have to get more strict. Like, man, you're going to have to have a key card. You're going to have to bring your key card to get in there or whatever. Your key fob. I'm telling you, bro, they just ruin it for everybody. Do you know if any children were attending the party? or? I do not have that information. Do we know uh, Do we know if there's a criminal background on either suspect or victim? I, I do not have that information. All right, right, guys, so um, I did want to show you this story of a woman actually getting robbed, pulling up at the ATM. And this one's crazy because it looks like they was kind of camping out at the ATM. So you really have to be careful um, of your surroundings. Maybe just don't even go to the ATM like that. Or if you are, go through a drive through ATM or, or or even just go inside the bank, man, because it's getting rough. So you see he pulls up out of the car with the Pooh Shiesty mask. Dang. And honestly, bro, um, I'm, I'm glad that we see a lot of pushback, a lot of people trying to get away or fighting back. But this is just, this man just ran up on an old lady, bro. This is crazy. Mm -mm. you to take a good dallas police want you to take a good look at these photos they believe this is the suspect who has been going around and robbing pollo regio restaurants across the dallas area i feel pretty bad because you know, that this, these people they work a car juan alonzo a frequent customer at the west davis location was upset when he heard the news they give you the best service they can I spoke to an employee off camera. She tells me she is terrified. She is working in fear. It was after closing time when all of the employees got in the car. She tells us a man with a gun went up to their window and demanded her to go back inside, open up the safe. Dang. Thieving season is approaching, especially in Dallas, Houston, you know, those metro areas in Texas, Austin. Um... We all know that the left has a stronghold in those cities and <laughs> they're they're destroying it, bro. They they really are. Um you never heard of these things being so brazen out there in the city. But nowadays these dudes are just pulling up after work, you know, before the sun even go down. Pulling up while you at the ATM. Okay. So it's just out of control. She tells us after all of that, the suspect took off with their car. On May 18th, two and a half miles away at the West Illinois Avenue location, police say suspects use sledgehammers to pry open a safe, stealing $22,000. Then early Friday morning, over at the Colony location on Main Street and South Colony Boulevard, police say a suspect smashed in the front door mm. and robbed the place. Dallas police are investigating all three incidents and are asking anyone with information to come forward. And they robbing everybody, y'all. They robbing everybody. These super gremlins are on demon time. In Dallas, I'm Malini Basu. I'm here on the corner of... MLK and Medgar Evers, and it's a very tranquil scene compared to 
just a couple hours ago where a drive-by shooting just took place. Uh, uh, excuse me, I I'm getting live updates as we speak. I've just been updated to the amount of casualties from this drive-by shooting. And I'm getting reports that two people were actually declared deceased and 27 others were shot and injured but are in stable condition. And although we must pray for the families of the fallen, we must also praise God for the aim of the super gremlin. If you want to know more about the victims of this crime, make sure you add BGZM News 17 on Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash Black Gen Z Mindset. Also, don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment on the video to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. For more hard-hitting news coverage from the Communita, by the Communita, I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. And cut. All right, dog. Let's get the out of here before these niggas come Whoa. back. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Ain't that that nigga Jen Nah, Quavius? nah, that ain't me. That ain't hey, me. He just went live that ain't with that funky ass yeah, suit that's on. That nigga. That's not me. Hey, hey get hey, that nigga. Jen Quavius hey, Jackson, here live, live hey, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia. Pray for me. All right, guys, so um, I did want to do this video here, man, because it appears that um, Fresh and Fit actually got robbed, and, you know, they don't know who it is. Um, they did go to Dallas for a meetup. They stayed in an Airbnb, obviously, and they got robbed, okay? Somebody violated their space, ran up in the crib. And thankfully, they weren't there when it happened. But it makes you think that they were probably watching the place. <sighs> like I said, they're robbing everybody, guys. They're robbing everybody. So let's play the video and see what's going on. I'm, I'll make some comments of kind of what I think about it overall. But um, it's crazy. We haven't went inside. We don't. We don't want to go inside to the cops in here. It's uh. Somebody yeah, broke in. God broken. damn. Uh, I don't know about Gary, uh, I got you in here. Hold on. This, uh, this shit's crazy, bro. Yeah, what was that? Shit, it's crazy. This bridge right here. Oh, no, yeah, this, this is what I work for right here. What up, Hunter? What's good, boss? How you doing? This shit crazy, bro. Just, just call back. Is there, is there, is there cameras on the house? Uh, there's a camera in the right. There's a camera right at the door. You see right here where I'm pointing at with my light. So, um, there's a door cam. These dudes probably was masked up. Um, I'm sure they've got that footage already. My thing is, you know, there's, there's this saying that, hey, when you fly into a new city, you got to check in, this and the third. <clears throat> and it looks like they flew in and they had some guys out there in Dallas who, you know, were were solid were their friends and you know they were doing the meetup out there i don't know the full details of the situation but you would think that that would be the check-in you would think that that would be enough right but when you are a brother or if you got any type of melanin honestly and you go into a new city right they're going to apply the street principles to you as well especially if you got a name and you know they're kind of flashy so they're going to apply the street principles to you and they're going to say and you're in the entertainment business you know teetering on the line of hip-hop and all that kind of stuff i'm telling you it, it it's like <laughs> it's messed up okay it really is because you shouldn't have to move with security on, on the level that they are. They really shouldn't have to move with security in my eyes. OK, it's not like they're like Michael Jackson or something or Joe Rogan or something like that, even though, you know, they have a successful podcast. It's a dope podcast, but it's not like they're on that level yet. 
but it may it may look like they might have to get some security and definitely watch they circle bro because it looks to me like an inside job maybe somebody was just watching and stalking and following but you would think that um they would notice that especially myron because he got a law enforcement uh background so it's hard for me to think that this isn't some type of inside job situation truthfully you know and i hope it isn't i hope that they can trust everybody that they connected with out there but um you know i'm thankful that they were not actually there because i'm telling you bro these super runners will leave you leaking on some pop smoke the camera right there Oh, uh, the neighbors, they, the, oh, they did. Oh, the neighbors did. Yeah. Uh, we just called the police, though. I didn't got to go in there. I got to get my charger. I got to no, get no, 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 blood. They don't do that because you, you never know. Oh, true. Yeah. I got it. You know, fingerprints. Yeah. He said he got to go in to get his charger. That sound funny. Oh, no. Uh, car charger. Let me get the 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 car some I know somebody didn't ask, does this mean y'all ain't going out to the club? Hold on. Did I hear that correctly? This just means I'm not going out to the club. <laughs> oh my god. The club is the last thing you want to worry about in a situation like this, man. So my advice, hey, hit the hotels. The Airbnbs is sketchy in major cities. In like a small town, small city, man, you're good with the Airbnbs, getaways and all that kind of stuff, but if you go into a Dallas and y'all know that, like, <laughs> that's like big super gremlin energy, all right? Because it's it's like people trying, oh, this is the Black Mecca, this is the Black Mecca. Like, they, they changing, like, where the, the Wakanda is. So they're like, oh, Dallas, Houston, or Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like, they're trying to, it, it's like shifting to different cities, but... It's making it hot. That's crazy. All right, for sure, I got you. Oh, bro? Yeah, you, that's like years ago, though. So this is like, but what he said makes sense how people be brown on Airbnb. I promise that. Look, they already got a story. People be praying on Airbnbs. That are, to me, it looked like somebody would just say, hey, yo, da da da. We got, you know, fresh and fit out here. You know. They be, they be flashy, da, 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 let's get them on some um, just hating stuff. I told y'all it's a lot of hate in the community. It's a lot of hate in the community, and dudes be hating. They'll secretly be your friend, but then, like, snake you behind your back. They, I told you, these super women, they will they will steal from you, then help you look for it, acting as if they're at a search party or something like that. It's crazy out here, y'all. Right. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, they're taking this really well. I would be 38 hot. The female cop. Oh my god. If somebody's in here, make it known. Get your ass up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> fingerprints on the wall. Worst criminals ever, bro. And I know what they test upstairs. I'm gonna play a cell to them motherfuckers. We're a dumb as criminals. I'm glad I ain't want nobody here, though. Yeah. 
He made a good point. I'm glad nobody was there because I'm telling you, like, it gets dirty out here. You got dudes shooting a girl at the pool. You know they don't care. You know this. Whoa. Fingerprints. Man, let's see what happens up here. Yo, they didn't oh, touch the lip, bro. bro. Yo, they didn't touch it. Wow. The whole switch is here. All the games. You can't take anything here. Well, they took a bite of the chicken. I think they took a bite of the chicken. That's the idea. Dang, they had the raisin canes. All the worst. Look. I see the damage, Marion. I see the damage. I see the damage. Whoa. This isn't even that bad. It's in my bag. Where'd you have it? Right here. Hmm. I think Fresh had a Louis V bag. They took the Louis V bag, man. Was your backpack in it? Was there keys in it? Yeah. Mm. Left my hoodie, my pants. I'm telling you, these super grimmins are savage, bro. I, I don't know. Bro, this had to be an inside. It had to be something, bro. What's that What's that thing that uh, Hassan Campbell be saying? Pay attention. Or he say pay attention to your circle before they hurt you, bro. I think, man, I don't know because I don't, you know, I don't know their friendship relationship. But it's just sound like somebody was talking and. Like, why out of everybody they went into their room, you know? <sighs> you know, when you move flashy, too, you do put a target on your back. So, and I'm not saying that it's their fault or a victim blaming. You should be able to have nice things out here. But in this day and age, you can't show these super gremlins nothing. <sighs> They just took my bag. Mm. Well, then you can at least put, um, oh, they probably stole my Apple Watch. Yeah, they took my bag. That's about it. So I'm saying it mostly looked disturbed up here, maybe. Yeah. They just, they just took, took my bag. That's all. Mm. Left my boxer. <laughs> all right. Well, I can do with that. Just a bag. Okay. They took your airbots? Yo, they didn't even take, yo. Yeah, my, part, my partner said that he's They didn't even take these. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, these are the dumbest criminals what? of all time. Yo, they didn't even take my Apple Watch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, these are the worst criminals of all time, bro. <laughs> this right here is easily like a thousand? Bruh. Fresh, yo, well, your bag yo, yeah, no, they took my bag. Well, hundred percent, they were coming for the jewelry, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, yo, did, yo, did he? Yep. You heard what he said, man. They were coming for the jewelry. They didn't find it. They probably were wearing it. They're probably stalking a stream or whatever it is. You know, when you tell people where you're gonna be at in this day and age, I know it's social media and all this stuff, but. It's just a bad combination. They don't do this to glider content creators, okay? Now, they might terrorize the common glider in, on the street, but they don't do this to, like, <laughs> they don't. They don't, bro. These super gremlins are on demon time. Even take this. Bro, that's crazy. That's Wait, did that take one of my shorts? I'm not bad, my bad, bro. Sorry.